Hey guys, welcome in a new episode of Stevens Week. Uh, this week I'm in the US on a retail tour. We're in uh, New York and San Francisco. And, uh, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna keep you up to date about all the big news this week. And there was some big news happening, so uh, enjoy the show. Facebook's gonna start tracking um, in-store behavior of people. So they will make the link between your advertising on Facebook and what happens in a store. A move into the retail world of Facebook. Snapchat has decided to start with advertising in between stories. So they are looking for their business model and this is a first test that they're doing. There were some big announcements from Apple this week. Um, they announced their new iOS and their uh, operating system for, uh, for Macs is gonna change as well. Uh, a lot of changes, uh, mainly in the messaging app and in the photo app. So you will have more options to do answer more emojis that's going to be added so they want to make it more fun they want to make it more creative and uh, another big update is going to be siri uh, they called it even the mother of all updates so siri is also coming to macbooks now and siri is getting a much better or much bigger place into the whole system of, uh, of apple so there as well you see the big move to ai first just as we saw in previous episodes from google and amazon so digital marketing is becoming more and more important. That's something that we all know. But in Hong Kong, uh, this year for the first time, the investments in digital marketing are gonna be bigger than the investments in TV marketing. Now, of course, the news of the week it happened on Monday when LinkedIn was bought by Microsoft for $26 billion. It's a huge deal. It's probably one of the biggest deals in history. So I'm very curious to find out how Microsoft will take that opportunity to build LinkedIn into an even bigger platform. Uh, but this is one of the biggest moves that we've seen in years. Robot news from Belgium. In uh, several Belgian hospitals, they will start using robots as receptionists. And again, it is the Pepper robots, which you see more and more in retail environments. That's going to be the lucky robot that can welcome you in a hospital. Another news is that Samsung is uh, telling the world that bendable uh, smartphones and bendable screens are just around the corner. And just as a side note, I'm in the New York flagship store of Samsung. They got huge screens, they have really cool 360 degree video boots, uh, VR, it's fantastic. And uh, you see all the cool new stuff that they have here. PlayStation is moving into virtual reality. Um, they're gonna make 50 games in the next few months that you can play with VR classes on, and they will launch their own headset that you can buy, and it's gonna be a lot cheaper than the headset you can buy from Oculus. There's a new advertising possibility at Twitter, as emoji is the word of the year almost. Uh, Twitter is going to allow advertisers to contact or to reach out to people that use certain emojis. So imagine that you use a pizza emoji, well maybe Domino's Pizza will send an ad to you. I don't know to what extent people will like it, but it's an experiment that they're going to start up today. Car news again, Volkswagen wants to be one of the leading green car companies in the world. It's going to invest a whole bunch of money. And uh, their goal is by 2025 and 2030 that about one quarter of their car cars that they're selling, that those cars are all electric vehicles. So guys, um, I want you to enjoy the weekend. I hope you're gonna have a fantastic weekend. Uh, we're here in the city of Palo Alto and it was fun recording these videos for you this week here in uh, New York and San Francisco. So enjoy the weekend. I hope you enjoyed the show and see you next week. Bye-bye.